Hello, welcome and welcome back. It's time for a new set. I've already done all my prep, applied my tips and cut them down, and went in with a thin layer of clear acrylic on all the nails. And I'm starting off with this colored acrylic from CJP. It is called Clay, and it's this pretty grayish purple. I'm going through and I'm applying that to the thumb the index finger, the middle finger, and the pinky. Next, I'm taking these snakeskin water decals that I got from Etsy, and I'm gonna apply those on top of the purple acrylic. They don't stick to the nail too well on their own, so first I'm gonna go in with a clear gel top coat, and then apply the decal on the nail and get it in place just how I want it and push out any air bubbles or creases. Once I got all the decals on and in place, I went and cured those nails in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I went and filed the excess decals off of all the nails. I wanted to go in and cap all those nails in clear acrylic, but I was worried about the monomer messing up the design of the decals. Normally when I use water decals, I'll go over them with a clear gel top coat and cure that before I cap the nail, but those are usually small decals. I didn't wanna go over the whole nail with a top coat and then cap it. So I decided to use a builder gel in a bottle and go over all the nails and that ended up being a great idea because it completely smoothed out the decals. I don't know if you can see, but after I cured the decals with the gel polish underneath, they kind of like shriveled up on the nail, but the builder gel completely smoothed out any wrinkle and made the design really stretch out and look really natural on the nail.
for the ring finger, which is gonna be my accent nail, I'm taking these different color metallic flakes and I have them in black, purple, and silver. The black flakes are actually black on one side and gold on the other, but I was trying to just have the black show and not have any of the gold show. I think a little bit of the gold came out, but for the most part, it was supposed to be just black. And then that purple is the same shade of purple as the acrylic that I put on the other nails. Even though once I put the decals on, it didn't really look as purple anymore. They looked kind of gray, but it's actually the same shade of purple as that acrylic. So I put little pieces of black, purple, and silver, and I just put them randomly all around the nail in different spots. And then once I had that all covered, I capped the whole nail in clear acrylic. And then when the acrylic was still soft before it cured, I have these little rhinestone snakes. I believe I got those from Etsy as well. I put that down in the description, but I believe I got those from Etsy. And I took one of those rhinestone snakes and just pushed it down into the acrylic while it was still soft as far as I could. And then I just took a couple wet beads of clear acrylic and just filled in any empty spaces and gaps just to make sure that snake is fully embedded in the nail. And that is my purple snake skin set. I really love how this set turned out. This is one of my favorite sets that I've done in a while. I hope you like it too. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.